All right, hello everyone. So today is the day before, uh, it was at Christmas. It's the day before Halloween. And you know what Halloween means? Trick or treating and going up for candy. Except we're in the middle of, um, unfortunately, uh, you know, we're not able to go outside. And, uh, but we can still wear costumes. We can still eat candy. And uh, here are some of my, actually not even, oh, I guess some of these I do really like. Um, here is a little bit of Mexican candy. Um, I asked my mom and my brother to get me some just so we can take a look at them. So let's start with, um, actually, you know what? I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. So obviously you see my shirt, that's the Red Ranger. But I think that in order for us to do this review or taste test, it's not a review. We need to get into a little bit uh, we need to get into something a little bit more comfortable. So let me move this out of the way so I don't hit it. And you know what I say, it's morphing time. Okay, so this is a lot more comfortable. Not really, this helmet is a little bit too small. I have a rather large head. So this is my costume. I'm gonna be the Red Ranger today. And uh, yeah, let's let's eat some candy. Hopefully it doesn't get too hot. Oh boy. Alright, so let's start off from the best one to the least favorite one. Let's start off with this. I don't know what this is. I don't think I've ever had this. So it's called Pulparindo. The original with real fruit. The original real tamarind bar. So that looks exciting. Um, and then it says from the orchid to your candy store. And then it has a bunch of other stuff in the back. You have you know, an anthropomorphic candy bar. So I don't really like uh, tamarind candy, but uh, you know, I'm gonna have to eat this, so we'll see. So you take off the wrapping, and we'll do that. All right, so let's open it this way so we don't damage the packaging. And I only need one, so I wonder how long it's gonna take me to eat this. And this brand is De La Rosa which is actually the same brand as this one. And that's it. Yep. All right, well, let's put this off to the side right here. And this very thin packaging, it says Pulparindo, the original. It has some stuff in the back and, uh, you know, some candy. So let's open it up. So already, okay. It's not bad. It tastes like tamarind candy. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. It's a little spicy. Um, <coughs> yeah, it's a little not too spicy. I'm bad with spice. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing right now. <laughs> it's gonna take forever. I'm gonna take one more bite. It's a nice texture. Kind of like a part in your mouth. A little bit. How do people make these videos? I don't understand. <coughs> That's a little spicy. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna finish it. We're a quarter of the way there. That's not bad. It's a little spicy. I don't even know how you would describe this flavor. Because it's not chewy. I guess it is chewy. Anything is chewy. I don't know, I guess I would describe it like sand in your mouth. <laughs> I guess. I don't think that's a good description. Mm. Okay. Oh, Alright, well, that's that. Oh man, I got one went up my nose a little bit. Alright, well, let's open this one. This is the same candy, not the same candy, or same type of candy, different brand. This is Pelon Mini. So the original one, it's called Pelon Puerto Rico. So Pelon means bald, Pelon means hair, Rico means tasty. So, baldy, tasty hair. I guess that would be the translation, if that makes any sense. So let's open this. And these are really mini versions of them. 
So the mascot here, it's the same candy with a shirt and this pelon. And he has candy coming out of his hair. Or head, that's what it looks like here. Alright, so these I kind of maintain the same shape. So this top plastic bit is a different color. This is usually red, it's always white. And then you pop this off like that, very easy. And you press it so the hair comes out. Oh, this is really hard. It's usually not this hard. So, see, look, he has a little bit of hair. So, okay, you know what? It was fine. Mm -hmm. A similar flavor. I don't want to say it's the same. This one's a little bit sweeter. Wow, this is, this design is not good. So usually, because these are bigger, the plastic is harder, but this, the plastic is soft, so it doesn't get a lot. You don't have a lot to push from. It's really hard. All right, I'll eat this later. That's pretty good. Not bad. All right, what do I want to eat next? Put this off to the side. Hmm. These are my favorite. These are my second favorite. These are my third favorite. <coughs> oh, the tamarind is really getting to me. All right, so let's do this. I'm gonna eat this one because these crumple up very easily. So this obviously has the nicest packaging. So this is the La Rosa, Mazapan, uh, Marzipan candy. Uh, peanut candy, marzipan style. Maybe, maybe not. Dulce de cacahuate estilo mazapan. So it's good before June 15th of 2021. So we're good to go. I was a little concerned that it would be 2021 at the end. Alright, so let's open this. So all of these came from a Mexican candy store or store nearby. I believe you should be able to get a lot of these in the local supermarket. All right, so this is a very nice packaging. Ooh, and it comes with a lot of these. So I love eating these. So when I go to the supermarket, they have these in little bags before, and I get those. So I love eating these. So put that right here. So these have a round shape. Uh, they're peanut candy, and it has a very nice design that has a rose on it. So, that's pretty much it. I don't think they've changed much in the time that I've been here, or even when I was in Mexico. But these are good. So we open these up, so these break off pretty easily. So, sometimes I do is I break off a little bit. All right, it's very good, it's tasty. I'm going to um, scrumbly, and then kind of, it just melts in your mouth, and you can feel the little peanut pieces. Before you actually think it was just like clumps. And it's not very strong. So good. I could eat a lot of these. The only downside to these is that these are very hard to eat. These are messy. Mm. Well, I'm kind of just right in the mouth. I need some water. <laughs> Alright, well, that's that. Nice to see you. Alright. Mexican company. Probably a Mexican company. So let's eat, let's eat, let's read the back. Mazapan Bonitas, original packaging from 1950, and back in 1950. In 1950, a unique peanut candy was born in Guadalajara, in the state of Jalisco, Mexico. During those years, Mazapan de la Rosa was produced and handcrafted in a, oh, 
was produced in a handcrafted manner, but since it, but since then, it was bound to become a confectionery legend. Masa Pan de la Rosa is manufactured with a secret recipe that has been successfully that has been used successfully for over three generations. A simple rose is stamped in the wrapper to distinguish this candy. Thanks that thanks to its original flavor today has become a Mexican and international candy icon. So I think that is very true. It says the same thing in Spanish. It's forever my favorite. I will agree. It's very good. I always like eating those. Sometimes I eat too many. All right, now out of these two, so if you go to a party with a bunch of Mexican people, sometimes they give you goodie bags that have um, all of these. So you know they'll they'll have a little bag that has a little bit of everything. They'll give you that. They'll give you one of these, and then you eat them all, and then you feel good, and then your stomach hurts later. But that's it. <clears throat> these are a lot more common, and as well as these. <coughs> Oof. That masapan is very crumbly. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, but. These two are very common to see in parties. So this one is probably one of my favorites. So this is Duvalin by Ricolino. 18 pack. So there's 18 pieces. Strawberry and vanilla artificially flavored candies. Usually they come in two flavors. You get strawberry and uh, vanilla, or you get chocolate vanilla, or sometimes you get all three, chocolate, strawberry, vanilla. But this one is just strawberry and vanilla. So we open this. How do we open? It's the nicest way of opening this. This is by Bimbo. I love Bimbo. Okay, pick that up. There, and we get. Wow, we get a lot of these. Yeah, there we go. It comes with these. So usually when you get these, sometimes they come with these. Not all the time. So these are little spoons that you can use in order to eat these. So I'm gonna put them all back in there. So I wasn't sure if they were all gonna be in there. All right, well, I'm just gonna put these all to the side. <laughs> ah, I dropped it. Oh, okay, all right. So we have this, very good. Put that up there. All right, so let's open this up. So these are very easy to open. You just peel this off. Did you get that? Mm. I need the garbage. Okay. Alright, so these... Okay, did you see that? That looks good. And then... You know, I probably should have showed you the other candies like that. Go ahead. Anyway, so you, you shovel this and you put it into your mouth. So I usually do it down the middle. Picking up with flavors. No, I never really thought about it. I just thought they were different colors. But let's see. It doesn't taste like, taste like strawberry. I guess that tastes like vanilla. I don't know. They taste the same to me. They're yeah, pretty good. I can eat these. I'm gonna try not to eat a lot of these. Emphasis on try. Hold up. You're actually doing a pretty good job at cleaning this thing. So it's healthy. Alright. I'm gonna stop there for now. I'm mean, not done with most of it. Alright, let's put this off to the side. Last one. Last but not least. It's Pugulugu. So this is a marshmallow with chocolate flavored coating and strawberry gummy artificial flavor. This bimbo also. Yes. Okay. So Pugulugu, these, these are really good. I love these so much. So my dad says that he likes to eat these with once they're frozen. I've never tried it. I might try it later. It comes with eight of them. 
So these are some of my favorite candies. So we open this like that, and they all come in this very nice blue packaging. So they come like that. And on the back it has that. You can tweet at them on Twitter. Follow them on Boobulubu USA or on Facebook, Boobulubu.us. Um, all right, let's let's open this. So these have a very particular shape. It's very unique. They look like this. Think of it as you will, but it is a candy. And uh, let's take a bite. That's one of them. There's chocolate. Marshmallow and strawberry candy, gummy. Which I now, this does not look as red as it does in the picture. Oh, it's still pretty good. So I never really thought about, I never really thought of this as marshmallow. I always thought it was just gummy. Mm -hmm. I like this. These are definitely some of my favorites. They're really easy to eat and they just appear so good. Another shot. Well anyways, I hope you sort of enjoyed this video. Because I don't know, you don't even know why I made it. <laughs> that would be fun. So hopefully I do end up posting it because I did want to kind of make this and obviously I have to have some bad videos and probably have good ones. But uh, thank you for watching. So if I were to rate these, these would be my favorite. Followed by Jibani, this one. Let's put the bottles there. These are the second. Obviously, like I said, these are third. This one's fourth. And then this one is last and I don't really like tamarind candy and you know if I am gonna eat it I'm gonna eat it like this just because it's better I don't know it's because it's fun to eat so let's see Well, that's that. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.